radius of variation of a uniform rod of length L about an axis passing through a point one fourth away from the center of the rod and perpendicular to it is. All right. So what we have to find is radius of variation. Now what's the situation? Situation is this. This is a rod given, and it is rotating. It is rotating from here, right? It's not rotating from center. This is IC. This is axis of center. So moment of inertia IC for the rod we know is ml square by 12. But what we have got to find is initially we have got to find moment of inertia at this point. Assume this to be a rod. This is the center. But from one fourth of the center it is rotating like that. All right, that's the situation. All right. Now for that we call it as I zero obviously. So I zero we know as per parallel axis formula is equal to IC plus mh square. All right. So here h is l by 4 all right l by 4 all right because this if you divide 1 fourth 1 fourth 1 fourth 1 fourth you can divide that into four parts so this is l by fourth part all right so it's rotating from here so let's write the formula we already have it there i0 is equal to ic plus mh square right ic we know for rod it is m l square by 12 plus m into h here is l by 4 so it would be l by 4 the whole square this is h so it would be m l square by 12 plus m l square by 16 all right so lcm i hope you guys are all okay with it now plus 1 by 16 when you do obviously we take out lcm this way so 4 4s are 16, 4 3s are 12, and then we have 4, and then we have 3, right? So it is, so LCM would be 4 into 4 into 3, so 16. So if I take 12, 4, so 4 1s are 4, plus 16, 4 4s are 16, so 3 remains, so 3 into 1. So it becomes 7 by 16 is 48, 7 by 48, all right? So this is 7 by 48 ml square. All right, I hope you know what I did. I just took common out and the ml square was taken out as common. And this was inside the bracket. All right, 1 by 12 plus 1 by 16. And then this happened. And what we ended up with was 7 by 48 ml square. Now, this is not our answer. This is what we got is I0, moment of inertia. At this point for the rod moment of inertia at this point for this rod rotating at one fourth from center rotating at a distance one fourth from the center okay. now what we intend to find is radius of gyration at that position you know i is equal to mk square or we correlate this with mk square all right so mk square is equal to 7 by 48 7 by 48 ml square right so m cancel and we want k so we have got to square root both the sides so it would be this would get into a root and this would become l so this is what is our answer k is equal to root 7 by 48 l so keep practicing these type of numericals all right Physics is only practice, chemistry numericals always practice, maths every day, one hour to two hours practice required every day regularly. Okay? Keep doing it. Keep putting in effort and get the results. Okay?